Hey, this is the Team Master, Team Actor. I'm um, showing you how to make a video tutorial. That makes something which look like this. Don't be off put by what it says, so I was having a bit of a mad moment. Okay, so first we want to open up Photoshop, make a new document. Just make sure it's 145 pixels by 300 or 400. I'm going to make it 400. Make it 300 dpi. Background color transparent. Color mode. I'm gonna make it 32 bit. Okay. So your colors look quite good. Okay. Wait for that. Okay. Here's your document. Then you just go to image. Rotate canvas 90 degrees counterclockwise. Write in some text. Okay. I'm holding the control key to get the transformation type box. It's not like free transform, but it is almost, but it's not. You because you can do stuff like that. I think I'll go for a nice violet. Okay, find one like that. Okay, just gonna right click there and rasterize type. Okay, now I'm gonna double click it to bring up the blending properties. And I'll come up in a box like this. Okay, I'm gonna give it a drop shadow. And you should see it come up as a preview there. Yeah, okay. Um, YouTube, pattern overlay. Just using a few tricks I know to get something that looks nice. Uh, possibly an inner glow, as long as it doesn't overthrow it. That, if you want to just give it a metal effect, would work, but I'm not going to, I'm just going to use a preset. No, I'm not even going to use a contour at all because I think it looks fine just how it is. Yeah, I'll keep the bevel and emboss in. So I'll do a bevel and emboss contour. That's what I was looking for. To do the colour. What? All those YouTube people. Yep. Yeah. You could give it a stroke, but I'm not going to do that yet. Is it okay? So drag the YouTube layer down to create a duplicate. Then go to Window and then hit Animation. It'll come up like this at first. You want to click this little button down here with the little squares on it, and it'll come up like that for ten seconds. I want to make it no delay. Yeah, no delay. And we have YouTube Copy here and here. I'm just going to hit that. Then I'm gonna come to my YouTube copy layer and I'm gonna add a stroke. Which should effectively make it look good. I'm gonna give that two pixel radius and hit OK. And then I'm gonna go hit new layer here so you've got two. And then I'm gonna Put my YouTube layer back there. But I'm gonna do that. This is rather quick. You can experiment just changing the layers.
Okay, I'm gonna take that off now. I'm gonna change the effect, whatever you like. Add a satin. But yeah, and take off the previous effect unless you want to keep it on. Come on, computer. Okay, there's no layer. Okay, when you're satisfied, the or you like it, that's effectively going to give you something which will look a bit better than that, because that took seconds. And then just do file. Yeah. Sorry. Get rid of your text layer here. Okay, then you want to save it somewhere. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop. In a folder called GC for no apparent reason. Save it as a Photoshop document, call it YouTube. And save it. Okay, so that's saved. I want to come to File. Okay. And then I'm just going to hit the Play button. Now, if you want to just uh, loop forever, I know it can come up like that. I'll post the link to this animation if you want it um, on the description. Fingers crossed if my Camtasia works, I'll get it in high definition as well. Okay. Okay, and with a few more bits and added tweening to make it look better. I've made it look somewhat like this. You may think it's better, you may think it's worse, but I quite like it. And, um, yeah, so as you can see at the moment, you can't save for web and devices. So you've got to go, so you've got to go to image mode and take it down to 16. Don't click merge, otherwise you lose your animation. Your animation will still play. And then you just do file, save for web and devices. It'll generate. And then you ask, make sure it says it's just a GIF. And make sure it's tra transparent. At the back, and you can either keep it as the original, or you can optimize it. I'd leave it just as the default settings, then hit save. Choose where you want it to save it to, and I'm going to save it as a images only GIF to my desktop folder in my GC folder. I'm going to hit save. And then it will save that down at the bottom. And then you come to your desktop. Right, yeah, here's my GC folder. Now in here there should be a lovely YouTube animation. Which is sped up a lot. And now it's got that kind of a fade in, fade out. If you want a more kind of bashy one, like this one, then you know what to do. Don't tween it and just do two frames and make sure they repeat. And that's the end of this tutorial on how to make a flashy banner animation in Photoshop.